How's it going everyone? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to create and edit actions in the action editor. Creating an action is an easy process. When you're in the actions tab, press the add new action button at the top of the page. Similarly, if you are trying to edit an action, you can click on the action you're trying to edit. Both of these will open up the action editor. Now there are four sections to the action editor. The first is the top section you see here, and the other three are stored inside of these dropdowns. Starting at the top, we have the name of the action. Now, this name is ultimately what you will see inside the editor, but can be what the users see as well. I'll be going over this more later, but just know that this name has to be unique from the other actions inside your, action, your app sheet app. Next, we tell the app which table this action is associated with. This will help us sort the action, but ultimately it helps us know which data we need to have inside the action, as well as where to display this action inside the app. The last pieces of this section are what you might think of for actually completing your action. This drop-down selects the type of action you're wanting to run, and this last input changes based on which type you select you see these can wild these can vary wildly i won't be going over each of these actions in this video but if you have any questions please feel free to throw them in the comments below next we'll be going over the appearance tab first we have the display name you may remember from moments ago when i said the action name here at the top doesn't have to be what the name the users see if you want the name to be different from the action name you will put that in the display name. You can also insert a name dynamically. Unlike the action name, this does not have to be unique, which opens up extra possibilities for your action names. Next, you select the icon you want. You can use this bar to search for an icon if you already know what icon you want, or you can scroll through and peruse until you find one you like. Next, we decide how we want that icon and this action to be displayed. We have the display overlay option, which is the large button that appears at the bottom right, commonly used for things like edit or add actions. Display prominently is the one I probably use the most. And it's going to be the ones that appear at the top right, um, or the top in general, of the detail view. Next, we have display inline. This puts the action icon next to the column it is associated with. This is commonly used to link views of related data. And finally, we have do not display, which makes sure the action icon is not seen by the user. This is commonly used for grouped actions. Next is the behavior section. In this section, we can further filter when this action happens. For instance, if we only want an action to run when the status is complete, we can put that here in this conditional. The last two pieces here are when you want the user to have to confirm that they meant to hit the action. This is very useful for things that can't be undone like deletes. And you can change what is said inside the confirmation text right here. The last section is just for the editor. You can put a de brief description here of what your action does so you don't have to decipher the action every time you open the editor. That is going to be all for this video, but if you have any questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve, so leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.